The greatest wealth is health. Welcome to Watson Stay Healthy. It's me, Ruby, and... And me, Dila, Watson's Pharmacies. We are stepping into the second half of the year 2022. Does our beloved Kaki Watson had a great year so far? Well, I believe it has been rough in the beginning, but all of you did a great job in crossing the first half mark. And now we shall plan for the remaining second half for a better mindful living. A mindful living plays an important role in our overall mental health. Yes, that's right. You know, mindfulness can be practiced in many ways. So, for example, exercise like a meditation for just a few minutes is really able to provide you great benefit in terms of your mental and emotional well-being in many ways. Mindfulness involves maintaining moment-to-moment -moment awareness of our body, emotions and surroundings by drawing them back into ourselves. Yeah, and there are so many benefits in doing so. So, for example, like helps to reduce your overall stress level, anxiety and some negative feelings. But let's have Miss Katyana, who is a psychologist from Pantai Hospital, Kuala Lumpur, to share with us more on mindful living. Hi, Miss Katyana. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Dila. Hi. So, we have some questions for you. So, first of all, can you share with us what is mindful living and why is it important? Mindfulness actually refers to the ability to put extra thought into the things that are going around us. So, it allows us to better understand how we are impacted by the things that we interact with, whether it be people, thoughts, food, incidents. So having a mindful living is actually advisable to help people learn and to live in a healthier and happier way. So what is the impact of mindful living for our body in the aspects of fitness and diet? So when it comes to fitness and diet, of course, when we look at the context of mental health, um, including a healthy lifestyle but via your eating and your exercise is extremely important in maintaining a good mental health status. And so when we incorporate mindfulness into our diet and exercise, it means that we are, again, putting extra thought into the types of activities and the types of foods that we include into our daily lives um, and also being very mindful of how those things impact how we feel, whether or not it impacts our energy levels, whether certain exercises make us feel better or cause us some pain and therefore not acceptable for our bodies. So it's giving this extra thought rather than just following through with what the internet or guidelines tell us to do, which is what makes these um, diets and exercises more applicable and better for us. So yeah, definitely that. So Ms. Kayana, what do you think about the impact of mindful living for our mind in the aspects of work and social life? So when we think about mindfulness within the context of your daily life, um, you know, it is extremely important to understand how different scenarios, whether it be people, stresses, environments, how it makes us feel and, how, and what it makes us think. Because these two things will then impact what we do in response. So for example, if we're looking about it in the context of work, if there are certain elements in your workspace that make you feel more distracted or make you feel more lethargic, this might not be the case for someone else, but it absolutely does for you, then it's going to impact how you perform within a workspace. So when practicing mindfulness within this context, it's important to think about how certain things make you feel. So for example, um, are there too many noises in your workspace? Are you working in an environment where people don't tend to collaborate very much with each other and therefore makes you feel a little bit more demotivated? So these are the types of things that you have to think about. So ultimately, if there's something that's not working in your working space, it is going to be more likely that these things are going to impact your motivation and your performance at work. So being mindful means just having a conversation with yourself when you're recognizing that certain things don't work very well, identifying where the source of these problems are and finding a solution for them so that your behavior and your performance can improve. Aside of these factors, can you share on how to be more mindful when we're present at work? So thinking about what are some things that don't feel quite right. So for example, if you know that you have certain deadlines that you have to meet and you're struggling to meet them, or when you know that you have to do a certain task, but you're finding it very hard to do it to the best of your capabilities, any indication that things are not working very well is a sign that something isn't really working. So mindfulness can step in by just asking yourself, why isn't it working? What's going through your head? What's making you feel a certain way? And then finding solutions for them. So talking about mindful in working life, how to be mindful and maintain this good working etiquette? I think a good work ethic is something that is slightly subjective from person to person um, and how to maintain it is about identifying what are the hurdles that prevent you from getting from where you are right now 
to the goal that you want to reach. So say if you're a person who defines good work ethic as someone who works really well in a team and who's able to meet deadlines, ask yourself what are the issues that are preventing you from reaching those two goals and then making sure that you can optimize that. Can you share with us on how to maintain a healthy work-life balance? Taking breaks is actually really important and something that I think a lot of adults nowadays don't really give themselves permission to do. People seem to think that if you take breaks it's a sign of weakness or laziness, where in actual fact our bodies and our brains are very much like a computer. If you don't turn it off, it will overheat and probably start giving you problems in the long run. So breaks are extremely important because one, it gives you the opportunity to recharge. Two, it gives you a pause so that you can figure out how to address problems. And three, it gives you something to look forward to and that improves motivation tremendously. So when we're talking about getting a good work-life balance, it's about making sure that people feel um, sort of not to say ashamed but to feel that they are comfortable and they have the permission to take breaks when they need it um, and to reward themselves when they've reached goals um, and to not compromise on the life aspect for the work aspect. How does relationship impact a mindful living? The best thing I would say for people if you're trying to practice mindfulness in a relationship context, first thing is to understand why you are reacting or doing a certain thing. That is because you think something or you feel something with regards to a particular topic or with regards to a particular issue and your partner is probably going to do the same. So you need to be receptive to what they're saying, hearing them when they tell you if something doesn't work or if something upsets them and feeling like you can communicate the same thing to them when the need arises and finding a compromise. You will probably never get 100% of what you're after and neither will they, but coming to a compromise and figuring out a good space where you both feel like you're getting your, your priorities met is a really, really good formula when it comes to relationships. Okay, and Miss Kayana, we have the last and very important questions for you. The question is how to love ourselves more. Can you share with us some self-love tips? I think that when we talk about self-love, it's so important to remember that self-love is about accepting that those things are okay, right? That even though there are things that you feel you need to improve upon, there's absolutely nothing wrong with you just because you have them, right? I tell all my clients, you have worth just for breathing, you don't need to have worth because you've achieved something. And so I think just being able to embrace yourself for all the cracks and fissures that we come with in life is a really big part of self-love. Um, and mindfulness can support that by having you understand how these things again make you feel and what you wanna do moving forward. So yeah, that's what I would say. Thank you so much for your sharing today, Miss Kayana. I think today's conversation is so important and is a topic that has been overlooked by many people. So audience, please revise back your lifestyle. Do you have this mindful living in terms of your personal life or your working life? If you don't have, please set this positivity in your lifestyle. So and as you know, diet is important in mindful living. And speaking of meal, we start our day with one of the most important meal of the day, which is breakfast. And so today we have a guest over there to show with us some of the great recipe to begin the day with. Let's kickstart the day with breakfast. A nutritious and balanced food intake during breakfast provides enough to start the day more energetically and to be more productive. So, Nutribliss by Watson's has various range of natural and organic products which aims to promote healthy eating and it is easily accessible and incorporated into everyone's lifestyle. Most importantly, you can grab it at any Watson stores. That's right, I'll be sharing two recipes using Nutribliss products as key ingredients. It will be grains mixed cartoon pumpkin steam pow and followed by no big energy balls. You need to put in all the dry ingredients first, which is the pow flour, baking powder, two pinch or so, then you can grain mix. 27 types of whole grain seeds and also beans, a zero cholesterol and also it's very high protein as well as many other type of vitamins. So all the dry ingredients is in, so I'm just going to put it here mm -hmm. and just let it run for a few seconds to mix everything together. Right, so I'm going to blend the steamed pumpkin with the goji berries. Right, so as you know, goji berries mm. is very good yeah. for the eyes of and course, very good yeah. for health. Goji berry is rich with vitamin A which is very good for the eyes and also it has uh, rich in antioxidants to fight against diseases especially for your heart health. 
So you're gonna blend it until it's smooth. Okay, so this is nicely blended as you can see, it's so smooth, right? So now we're gonna put this into the mixer here. So we're just gonna let it knead until the dough is formed. We're gonna in the coconut oil. Okay, so we knead it again for a few minutes until the, it, the dough absorbs the oil and then the dough will become smoother. Mm. Right, so the dough is done. Yes, as you can see, it's so nice and golden, mm -hmm. right? So we just firm it up to smoothen the dough. Then we put it somewhere warm to prove it for 25 minutes. Right, so the dough is already proof. So I'm just going to remove it now and cut it into smaller portions, 30 gram each. So as you can see, as you roll it, it becomes nice and round. So once we are done, we put it onto the parchment paper, which is the baking paper so that it doesn't stick. Right, so let's take three small pieces of dough and shape it for the chicken comb and a slightly bigger piece of dough for the chicken wings, a small piece of koji berry for the chicken beef and lastly, the black sesame for the eyes. Right, so we are done decorating this lovely, lovely pow. And now we are going to go into the steaming basket. Right, so it's all in the basket already, so we're just going to cow it. And we're going to put it aside to proof for 30 minutes before we steam it for another 15 minutes. While we are waiting for that, we are going to mix the second recipe, okay. which is the no big energy ball. Right, so ingredients that we need is the peanut butter, oats, mixed nuts, chia seeds, and also not forgetting the organic okay. coconut oil. Depending on how big you want it to be, mm -hmm. you can just take a spoonful like this, just press it firm. Like a ball. Yes, mm -hmm. like a ball. Alright, so after this, you just need to chill it in the fridge for mm -hmm. 30 minutes and after that, we can already makan-makan. Alright, so here you go. Our steam pow is ready. Isn't it lovely and cute? Very rich in antioxidants and also vitamin A that can help to take care of your body and also these energy balls is also rich in protein, healthy carbs and also it can boost up your energy for your daily life. Let's yes. taste a bit. Let's try it. Okay. So we will share one of these. Mm. Lovely for breakfast and in fact, mm. lovely for tea time as well. So do give it a try. Coffee. And let us know what do you think about it? Wow, that looks healthy and delicious. Thank you so much for sharing the lovely recipe to Kaki Watsons. Other than having a great meal to begin your mindful living, here we have some products to keep help you out through your mindful living journey. Yeah, so first of all, here we have the Dermal Health Skin Labs Lavender Essential Oil that can be applied behind your ears or on your skin first thing in the morning after your shower and right before bed to give luster to the skin, balance to the body and relax the mind. Besides the essential oils, we also have the Watson Nutrabi Strong Walnuts. Asam third, walnut is a source of protein and high fibre which helps to protect your heart. And so our milk do provide a sum of vitamins and mineral for our body but we may still be lacking some of it from our diet. So you can take the black moss multivitamin which contains all the vitamins and minerals included including those that are slightly harder to find in food. For example, vitamin D and some minerals like magnesium. Oh, and on top of that, remember to check out our health services provided by Watson's. So do pay a visit to your nearest Watson's pharmacy store to get your health checked, such as your blood pressure test, your lipid profile test, or BMI and body fat analysis, and many, many more. Or if you would like to chat with our pharmacist without getting out from the house, you can now get a virtual consultation now with our Watson's pharmacist or doctor just at your fingertips. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next Watson's Stay Healthy. Bye! Bye.